Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you a brief update. This is the 1933 Ford Truck Cab. Um, in a previous video or earlier video, we shared with you where we did a couple of test spots where we started to sand. Uh, we were removing trim. We finished removing all of the trim, the dashboard, and the components that, uh, that finish up the inside, the back window, and all that fun stuff. So earlier we shared with you where we did some test sanding and we wanted to make sure um, what was done to it. So the, the metal work that is, has been done properly. Um, the preparation for before they started doing painting or body work, the prep seems to be quite nice. So uh, someone stripped all the old lacquer paint off. They did have it down to bare metal. They used a gray epoxy and they epoxied the whole uh, cab. And after the cab was epoxy, they did some body work and put some filler here and there. But it was the paint work and the detail to the lack of finishing that was the biggest concern. So we had several different colors of green paint, so they must have painted at different stages. Um, earlier video we showed you where there's a lot of, of marks and, and um, rust scars where they didn't use any spot putty or block sanded out. So what we've done now is we have everything sanded. Most times you'll hear me talk about stripping it down to bare metal and starting over. Somebody did that previously so we don't need to. So what we've done is we've used 180 grit sandpaper. We've sanded it down. You can see there's some spots where they had some paint runs. Um, so I think the camera can pick it up. See these these white spots here, um, they're the gray epoxy sealant that's been on. But see all these little vein marks and all these dots and these, those are runs. Um, and it almost contaminates the paint because it doesn't harden properly. So then when you sand, it becomes um, soft in the center and it sands off. So that's why we have like around the cab corners. That just goes to show you as a camera person comes around the back of the cab, these are all uh, paint imperfections or hangers in the paint. Um, so we hand sand, we sand it as much as we could with air tools and then for, to get all the grooves and stuff, this has all been done by hand around the bolts and so on. And if you come around to the driver's side, you can see the edges here. Once again, a lot of paint runs and stuff that we've sanded out. We sanded all of the edges, the platform for the seat, and we removed all of the trim for the dash. We've even sanded the bottom side because we want to make sure that we protect this too. A lot of the edges weren't protected um, when they went to do some body work before. So this is now ready um, for a primer. We've got a high quality, high quality gray high build primer. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to prime, probably apply three nice coats of, uh, of a high build gray primer and then we'll continue to block sand and then in the block sanding stage, that's where we're going to see all of the imperfections, all of the rust and corrosion marks and, and uh, pitting, and we'll correct all that with body smoother and block it out. So we've got the whole cab that we're going to prime, and then we have our vent door um, that uh, goes up here at the top of the cowl, so it's a, it's a cowl vent for the summertime that you can open and close. So we have that done separately, it's ready to prime, and then we have uh, these two front windshield rails. So there's lots of little bits and pieces. So we have uh, these rails that go on the inside of the uh, of the windshield trim. And then you'll see we also have the dashboard face. And you can probably, the camera can probably pick it up. You can see there's all kinds of pitting. So there's all these little, uh, look like polka dots and that's a lot of pitting that's in the steel and they just painted over top of it. So we want to make sure uh, that we fix that properly. And then this is our back window frame um, that goes inside the cab and it surrounds that back glass. And uh, normally it's painted, uh, people most of the time will paint this body color. I believe to be correct it's supposed to be black. So the outside is body color. The inside of the cab for this window trim frame, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be black to match the black trim. And you can see over here we have the two doors. We're still doing quite a bit of work on them. They're not quite ready for primer yet, 
uh, we still have to get a lot of the layers of the nasty paint. It's a very um, cheap kind of paint. It's very, very chalky when it comes off. It's a single stage, kind of questionable quality. So we're going to sand all of those uh, both sides and get them ready in the next few days and we'll share with you when they're primed. So uh, just a brief update. This is the 33 Ford uh, pickup truck. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.